First step, set up your API keys. These keys are stored encrypted within your app. You can update these keys later on the settings page. Specialties, system text, set how the model should behave. This has significant authority on GPT-4. Set a default model that is used when using keyboard shortcuts. To create a new specialty, change the name and click Save. Temperature. This controls how deterministic the model is. Lower settings for coding, higher for creative writing. Max tokens. This sets how lengthy the model's responses can be. Let's explain all the settings. Select a special talent, your currently selected system text. Select models. Choose the models you want to use. You will see different buttons on the GPT page based on these values. GPT provider. Are you using OpenAI or Azure AI? We will cover local models in another tutorial. Whisper. Select the language you'll use to communicate with Whisper AI. Write text to active window. If selected, responses will also be pasted in your currently open window outside the app. Play beep sound. This can be useful, for example, if you run GPT in the background and want a sound notification when it has finished. Select everything automatically. This can be useful when launching GPT from other desktop apps. This will be covered in another tutorial. Conversation memory. If you want to have more chat-like conversations, activate this feature, and it will remember your last X conversations. Load minified. This can save tokens with coding and run some minifications. With really long coding, you can save easily over 1,000 tokens. However, this may occasionally worsen the responses. Try and experiment. Stream response. By default, the app provides chat GPT-like streaming responses, but you can also wait for the full reply if you prefer. Max tokens temperature override default values. These will be moved to the main view in future updates. Shortcut settings. To launch Whisper AI or GPT outside the app, you can use shortcut keys. We'll provide clearer explanations in the next update, and this topic will be covered in another tutorial. Use selected text. The selected text in any app will be used as a prompt in the next request. Toggle recording. Start and stop microphone recording with this key. Transcription will be added to the chat text field. Toggle recording to input. Start and stop microphone recording with this key. Transcription will be used as a prompt for GPT, and GPT will automatically launch with your current settings and default model. This is a great way to converse with AI. Project files. Documents that will be added as context for the next request. An easy way to progress, for example, a coding project, is to add project files. Ask GPT for updates, make changes, and make a new request. Please note, the entire file is used, so you cannot use exceedingly large files due to the context size limits of the models. We're working on adding support for asking questions from, for instance, large PDFs. If you switch between different projects, you can export and import file lists. If you like to chain multiple commands together and wait for the responses, this is the way to do it. Create a list of commands, add selected commands to the task list, and click Run Tasks. The main view should be self-explanatory. Write your prompt and launch the model. To use GPT-4 with OpenAI, you need to have access from OpenAI. Currently, you need to apply for it. Have fun, and please let me know if something is still unclear hello at jh-apps.com.